So the big question that we're answering today is how exactly can I increase the views on my Instagram stories? Hello, my name is Vanessa Lau. Welcome to my channel. One thing that I'm really good at is helping people get visible with social media and get paid with business strategy. And today's video, let's focus on getting you visible. Now, what is the number one thing that I can recommend when it comes to getting more views on your Instagram story? It's simple. It's to make sure that the quality of stories that you do is consistent. That way you're able to train your audience to look forward to your stories. Now, if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, let me share this example in the context of another platform. For instance, YouTube. Right now you're watching my YouTube video, so I feel like we're on the same platform here and we have a common ground. Now, regardless if you are subscribed or not, imagine if instead I was posting weekly every single Sunday, I was posting Sundays, Mondays, Thursdays. Sometimes I don't post at all. Sometimes I might post a month later or a year later or daily because I'm not consistent with the frequency that I'm posting you as my subscriber or non subscriber. You're not really going to be trained to look forward to my videos every single week. You're not going to want to come back for more because you're not sure. That's the same thing that you want to approach Instagram with. Or let's say, even if I do post every single week, imagine if one week I have a really bomb video like this one, or another week I have a really badly edited video, not very good quality, just not great, not engaging. If I'm inconsistent with the quality of the videos that I'm doing, it's also not training you to look forward to my videos. The same thing applies for Instagram. And so when you're on Instagram stories, make sure that you're training your audience to always come back for more, whether that's you doing mini trainings sometimes on your stories, or maybe sometimes you share day in your life, or maybe sometimes you really pour your heart out and share incredible stories on your IG. These are ways that you can hook your audience time and time again, but make sure you're consistent with that quality. Now, does that mean every single day you need to show up as your best self on IG story? Not necessarily. However, it does mean that you have some sort of momentum because if you're not consistent with your Instagram stories, why would anyone want to come back for more? Now, the second tip I have for you is something that's going to help you stand out. And that is making sure you have an eye catching profile photo. That's really going to hook someone to want to click it. Now, something that I used to do when I was trying to grow my Instagram account and also get more views on my stories, or even just get more profile visits in general is I would have a really bright background as my profile photo. So as an example, let me show you some past profile photos that I've had. This one right here where I have a really bright yellow background and this one right here where I have a really bright blue background. This really was super eye catching to people. Now, one thing that I notice other people doing is because you have the close friends feature on IG story and on Instagram in general, I've also seen people do borders, specifically green borders to kind of get someone to want to click even more because they might think that they're a close friend. Now I'm not necessarily saying that you have to do a strategy like that, but I'm just giving you examples on how you can maximize your profile photo to make sure people are clicking it. Very similar to YouTube, let's say the platform that we're both on right now, people create thumbnails to make people want to click. The same thing applies to your profile photo. Now, in my case for the profile photo that I have right now, I didn't necessarily choose a bright background or a bright border, but I did make sure that whatever picture I chose, it was a huge zoom into my face because at the end of the day, if you're uploading a photo like this, where you're really far away from the background, when it's actually on mobile and especially in a little small circle, people can't really see it. And what I found is that people engage way more when they can clearly see your face and your profile photo is at least shoulder up. So definitely make sure you follow those parameters. If you want to make sure people are clicking on your Instagram stories, or at least making sure people are more tempted to click on your stories. Now, moving on to the third tip that I have for you is to make sure that you're not bombarding your audience with tons of stories. Let me give you an example. This has about 40 story slides and you can tell that it's already pretty overwhelming. Not only this, if you post even more, let's say you do 50 a day, it's literally going to show up as small little dots right on top of your story. And regardless of how good your stories are, typically that causes a lot of people to skip the story in general because they're so overwhelmed with the amount of stories that they see. Now, does this mean that you can't post that many stories? Of course not. I do it sometimes too. And even these examples are my own examples. 
goals. But I make sure I don't do this every single day because I wanna make sure I'm not exhausting my audience. And what you'll notice is if you bombard your audience with tons of stories within just a 24 hour time frame, there's gonna be a huge drop off. You're gonna go from thousands to not even hundreds by the end of that story sequence. So always make sure that you're posting stories in moderation. Now, just to give you some context, 20 stories a day is not bad at all, but once you head over to 50 stories a day, it can be a little bit too much. So make sure you're pacing yourself on the platform. The next tip that I have for you is to make sure that you offer opportunities for your followers to engage with your content, either within your stories or outside of your stories. Now within the story, you can use incredible interactive stickers that Instagram gives you like polls or questions, anything that's gonna cause your audience to click and interact. And the reason why you wanna do this is because the way that the Instagram algorithm is set up, it's really a relationship based platform. And so you wanna make sure that people are interacting with your content because the more they interact interact with you, the more likely your story is actually going to show up as the first few that they see every time that they open up their app. Or it's also going to guarantee or almost guarantee that they're going to see your content on the feed as well. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but earlier on, I did say that it could be interactions within IG story and even off of IG story. So even if they don't interact within IG story itself, even if they DM you, even if they like your content, comment on your content, whatever it is, any type of interaction, it's still going to increase the chances of your profile showing up as the first few stories that they see the moment they open up the app. And the reason why this is important because the more visibility that you have, the more chances people are actually going to see the content that you put out. Now let's move on to the fifth tip that I have for you. And this one is a low hanging fruit. It's a very easy opportunity to capitalize on and doesn't take that much time. However, I do notice a lot of people missing out on this. And that is whenever you are checking in at a restaurant, whenever you are mentioning someone, whether that's a celebrity, an influencer, your friend, your mom, doesn't matter who it is, make sure you actually tag them. And the reason why you want to do this is because it increases the chances of them resharing that post. Because if you don't tag them, they're not going to get this notification that allows them to easily reshare. And that's going to be a lot of opportunities missed to you. Now, obviously, if you tag someone, it's not always guaranteed that your story is going to show up in their activity log, which makes it easier for them to actually reshare your content, but it does increase the chances. I can't count the amount of times that people have maybe watched my videos and didn't tag me. And so I didn't see it because if I saw it, I would have reposted it and that could have been a lot of traffic to them. So make sure that whenever you're checked in at a restaurant or whenever you are mentioning someone that you saw online, whatever it is, make sure that you actually tag the handle. For instance, if you're eating at a restaurant, tag them, actually put their handle because that social media manager who's running that restaurant, they may reshare you to their followers and that's going to increase the footprint that you have on Instagram. Now let's move on to the sixth tip that I have for you. And that is making sure that you have a call to action for people to watch your stories, especially if Instagram stories is something that you post on every single day and you want people to actually pay attention to it. Now this is not necessarily mandatory, but it is a little booster if your specific goal is to get people to watch your IG stories. So what I mean by this is make sure on your Instagram bio, you can say something like watch stories for free trainings or watch stories their gold or watch stories for extra content, whatever it is, make it clear to people that they should be watching your stories because that's where all the juicy content comes from. Now, even for me, I don't have that on my bio, but I have seen other people do it. And I'm assuming because their content strategy highly relies on stories. Now, if you don't want that on your IG bio, you can easily put that on your highlights too. If you would like people to actually pay attention to your IG stories. It could be just one highlight that you have on your profile that really tells people, hey, if you want more from me, make sure you catch my IG stories. I post them daily. Something like that, that allows people to know about them because at the end of the day, people don't know what they don't know. Now, moving on to the next tip that I have for you, speaking of highlights, is make sure you use them. The one thing about Instagram stories that really sucks is even if you put your heart and soul into it, guess what? It only lasts for 24 hours. And so if you posted something that you wanna last forever on Evergreen, make sure that you put it in your IG story highlights. The unfortunate thing is I know so many people who are still not taking advantage of that highlight feature 
on Instagram. Because the thing is, is like I said, IG stories, they disappear after 24 hours. And if you posted something that you feel will get you more sales, that you feel will get people to know you better, that you feel should not just be there for only 24 hours, it should definitely be in your highlights. I know for me, I've even produced many sales from my highlights alone. And even to this day, I have new followers, new creepers coming into my Instagram that DM me from the highlights that I posted a year ago. So you never know who's watching your highlights and you definitely want to make sure you take advantage of it. Now, the one rule of thumb that I will say is that make sure if you do use the highlight feature that you don't have too many highlights. It shouldn't take people 20 swipes to see all your highlights. You should really narrow it down to maybe your top 10, 15 maybe even, or even 20 max highlights that you put on your profile. That way, when someone's on your profile, they really only need to swipe about four times to get through all of your highlights. Because the more highlights that you have, it just becomes overwhelming for people and you want to make sure your profile is easy to navigate. Anyways, if you watched this video, I hope you liked it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you got value from it. If you don't use all of these tips, you absolutely don't need to, but make sure you implement at least one or two and I guarantee it's going to really up your Instagram story game. I post a lot of content on marketing, entrepreneurship, social media, my goal is to really help people get visible and get paid. So make sure you check out these two videos that I have right here about business and social media. I guarantee it will not disappoint. As always, I post every single Sunday and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.